Hey y'all, since most schools have opened up recently after a long gap, I thought it would be a good idea to make a video on kids' lunchbox ideas. Every day is different, but it's mostly variations of similar combinations. Hope you find it helpful. It's a Monday and I'm making her baby corn and soya chunks pulao. She's asked to take breakfast, midday snacks, fruits for fruit break and lunch every day for her school lunch box. There's a new day that will come again tomorrow There's a new day to wash away the pain There's a new day to take away your sorrow Some cucumber and onions and all. Here I'm making some sweet bundi raita for her to have it with her pulao. I'm also making this heart shaped grapes just to make her first day of the week a little interesting. Look too nice, Mama. <laughs> Kai, watch the time. And it's all done. Here I have packed some baby corn and soya pulao, scrambled eggs with boiled peas for breakfast, sweet bundi raita, grapes and a mini chocolate cupcake for dessert. It's Tuesday and today I'm making her some pasta salad. Here's a tip, to avoid apples turning brown after cutting, you can squeeze some lemon juice and mix it with water and dip the cut apple slices in it, this way it won't change color. To the pasta, I have added some cut cucumber, grapes, olives, fresh cream, salt, mayo and pepper. I will keep it in the fridge for some time so that it's nicely set.
I will also pan roast some boiled baby corn and carrots with some salt, pepper, red chilli powder and few drops of lemon juice. There's a new day to leave behind your troubles. All done. Here I have packed There's some pasta salad, pan roasted baby corn and carrots, and cut apples, some lettuce mixed with a bit of mayo and two Oreo cookies for dessert. It's Wednesday and today I'm making her an egg roll with potato stuffing. I will fry the potatoes with jeera seeds, haldi, salt and red chilli powder. I will roll and tuck it well with a toothpick so that it stays together. For her snack break, I have added some boiled carrots and little bit of mayo as dip. I also fried a bun with butter, added some oranges and a cupcake for dessert. It's a Thursday and today I'm making her some egg cabbage fried rice. I'm also making French toast for her breakfast. For the French toast, I have added one egg, pinch of salt and cinnamon powder, one teaspoon sugar and a little bit of milk. All done, here I have packed some fried rice, boiled sweet corn, French toast, apples and kiwi. I have also added some maple syrup on the French toast.
and this is what we had for dinner this week. It's a Monday and we were craving for some Indo Chinese. I will be making some veg hakka noodles tonight. Eat carrot. So here I'm cutting the veggies in thin slices so that it gets cooked faster. I will fry the onions and veggies in high heat. For the sauce, I'm mixing red chili sauce, soy sauce and vinegar. See, it looks so delicious. It's simple yet really nice for a change in usual weekday dinner. Come on. Cheers. Cheers. To my school opening. Yep. It's a Tuesday night and for tonight's dinner I'm making some stir fried veggies. This is one of the tastiest ways to eat a lot of veggies. It's also good for those who want to lose weight because the veggies are enough to fill you up. If you try to get some sleep, if you give up the fight, if only just for a bit, there's a new day to leave behind your troubles. For the sauce, I have used some soy sauce, vinegar and red chilli flakes. I'm also adding some red chilli paste to the stir fry veggies for some extra spice. And one spoon of cornstarch to hold the whole thing together. This one is for Parth, he is having it with rice. And this is mine, I am having it with some corn dalia. Darling, you've got to 
It's a Wednesday night and for tonight's dinner it's momos. I'm making some chicken momo. So for that to the minced chicken I have added some chopped onions, coriander leaves, spring onions, chopped ginger, garlic, green chilies and some soya sauce. I will let it rest in the fridge for a while so that way it will be easier to stuff. For the chutney I have taken few red chilies and tomatoes and I will microwave it for 3 minutes then I will grind it with some soy sauce and vinegar. And with that it's a Thursday night and I'm making a roti wrap with lettuce and chicken filling. In a pan, I will add chopped garlic and spring onions, then add minced chicken to it. For those who are vegetarians, you can use soya granules and it tastes really good with that too. For the sauce, I have added some soy sauce, vinegar, hoisin sauce that I got from Amazon. Or you can use sweet Thai soy sauce, red chilli flakes, salt and pepper. You can also add chopped green chilies if you like it spicy. After the chicken is fried well, I will add the chopped mushrooms. Then in a bowl, I'll also add 1 tablespoon of corn flour with some water. This turns out very moist and juicy and the key to it is a lot of mushrooms. The mushrooms in it keep it very juicy.
end it's all ready it's like make your own wrap situation this recipe was quick and tasty something which can be done on a weekday without spending too much time yet you will have a fancy dish at the end This is all for today's one. I hope you found the recipes interesting and will give it a try. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon with a new one. Bye.